I can't now, Tigger. I'm cleaning my empty honey pots before I fill them again. I must have pumped the pump too hard. Perhaps it's gone off to take a nap. Hiya, little piglet! Yes. What say you and me go hunting heffalumps or something? It's a very long list. Maybe all long ears will want to have some fun. I think. I certainly do not want to play, Tigger. Oh, my! Oh, my, oh, my! Say, even my door's being... Unfriendly. There. If it's the last thing I do. <laughs> hmm. Looks like I got a house guest. The shy type, no doubt. That's okay. You and me are gonna be best, just the two of us. We'll have a ton of fun. There's something very strange going on here. Say, everybody. Do you see Tigger's new friend? Well, uh, no, not exactly. <laughs> Let you and me go have some friend-type fun. Why would Tigger need a new friend when he has us? Well, if the friend he likes best... Very friendly idea. Poor little guy. <laughs> okay. You're home! I'm never letting you out of my... And I brought you these, Tigger. How do you do? I'm Pooh. My friend's not there. He's over. Gasp! He's gone again! It seems this is worse than we'd imagined. Are we going to have breakfast? We have to do something. Coming to breakfast? Uh, Pooh Bear, I'm talking about the strange goings on in the forest. Uh, the mystery is solved. <clears throat> As I was saying, I... Hmm. Bears a remarkable resemblance to a blue face. Me and my little friend will find that villainous villain for you. First. Here, Mr. Termite. I know you're here somewhere. Oh. I'm getting even smaller. Have you seen the termite, Biglet? Hiya, fellas! Say, what are you doing chasing my friend? Thought you were after some blue-faced, yellow-bellied house-fly. <laughs> my friend! Why? Feel than we imagined? That thing is a menace to the hundred-acre wood. It has to go! Uh-uh, no way, no how! He's my friend, and I'm not sending him... That creature must go, and now! He's eaten the fence around my garden. Okay. If that's the way it's gotta be. Good. Poor little guy go alone. Mm, uh, I mean... Just me and you. He's <gasps> gone! I'll bet the little monster's out there eating what's left of our homes. <laughs> what's he doing? I believe he's fixing what he unfixed. Hey! Where you going? Come back! Uh, what time is it? Uh, I know that. Yeah, and, uh, Tigger... I had so much fun with one bug, <laughs> I figured it'd be ten times as much fun. Yeah, I'm gonna start a circus. Okay, fellas, show them... <laughs> I heard a close friends, <laughs> but this is too close. <laughs> Thirty-two? I had thirty-three tomatoes yesterday. <laughs> Take that, you vegetable nappers, and that, you feather brains. Oh, help! Get me out of here! But around here with a very loud voice. It's me, Pooh. Me of the occasion when my Uncle Aloysius had his tail feathers stolen and could... Hot. Two, three, four. My... Hmm, my relatives are as real as anyone. Stations now. Why, hello, Pooh Piglet. Why, no, Owl, we haven't. 
<laughs> That's right. You're the only owl around. He wants to see his family. Perhaps his family wants to see him, too. And to think you knew where to find my relatives all along. I did. Pooh, do you really know where Owl's relations are? Well, sending invitations to the reunion, of course. The balloon will carry the invit. I shall wait here for the guests to arrive. Perhaps I didn't use enough postage. I suppose I'll just have to invite them in. I'll be ready for those feather dusters next time. Hot two, three. It pays to have plenty of the proper cuisine on hand. Yes, yes, yes. Aren't you? <laughs> Howell will be so pleased. Nonsense, Piglet. Why would Pooh invite crows to my family reunion? <laughs> of course, I I'm sure a refresher course in table manners might not be amiss. Yes, Owl. We hope you'll all be very happy together. Yes, I hope so, too. But then, the guest is always right. Well, uh, perhaps a bedtime story? Well, then, what is it you want? From Rabbit, when I introduce you to him in the morning. <laughs> I can't wait for him. <laughs> I've heard of presenting flowers. Aha! I'm going by to introduce my relatives. Lucy, if you'll excuse me, I must return to my guests. Relations? The crows! Oh, Pooh, I knew it all along. Oh, my. There's only one thing to do in a situation like this. What do you suppose that one thing is, Pooh? We'll solve it. Oh, Pooh, that's a very good idea. I think. And your <clears throat> hoot, hoot. <laughs> Do come in. <laughs> oh, I say, that's splendid. A delightful prank. Quite the proper... I say, who have we here? Surely you haven't forgotten your own Uncle Torbett. <laughs> Off to some other party, no doubt. There's no escape now, you imposter. Abbott's birthday. Uh, Uncle Tucker, a corn crib. I'm very glad you arrived in time. Four times as many stories to listen to. Yes, uh, wonderful. It's wonderful clocks now. Such a pity none of us can tell time. That reminds me of the time. Avast there! First mate, Pooh, take the wheel! All hands on deck! Belay the topsail! Man the bulwarks! We shall fight to the last man! And the last bear! First mate, Pooh, we must protect the treasure. We have to keep it safe at all costs. Then perhaps we should get some help? By using very small bait... <laughs> oh my, for such a very small bottle, you put up a very large struggle. Oh, da 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 dear. I'm here. I wonder where that is. Hey, a note in a bottle. And I didn't even know I was missing. What am I going to do? How am I going to find me? Water! Water! Christopher Robin was just speaking of bottles and messages and such. But, Pooh, I don't have it anymore. Then we'd better hurry. Well, so I am. <laughs>